Along Highway 7 in Marble Falls between Jasper and Harrison sits an iconic attraction, a park treasured by so many. Before we even moved to the state, I remember my family traveling to go to be a part of Dog Patch. Many people of a certain age have stories about Dog Patch USA. It's different than driving into a giant parking lot, you know, coming off the freeway somewhere and seeing all the big rides off in the distance. It's it was different. And uh, even as a young kid, I, I remember that. And I'm like, wow, this is really cool. Dog Patch has a story of its own, one with more twists and turns than the roller coasters that once stood here. The park, based on the popular Lil Abner comic strip, opened in 1968, welcoming 300,000 annual visitors at one point. It played host to thrill rides, a water slide, a trout pond, railroad, grist mill, and a downtown ultimately closing 25 years later. When Dog Patch opened in 1968 and then it closed in 1993, it wasn't just owned by one company. It was it was it changed owners several times and each time an owner contributed to why that park ultimately didn't succeed. Michael Schwarz is president of the Abandoned Atlas Foundation, which highlights abandoned places and their potential for new life. Dog Patch USA is one of those places. Well, for years Dog patch sat completely abandoned. I mean, uh, there was an old water slide, all the buildings in the downtown, the the train tracks, the train station were still there, and it was just all grown up. In the years that followed its closure, several investors made unsuccessful attempts at revitalizing the park. In 2020, it sold once again. Well, it looks like Dog Patch USA is finally getting the restoration people across Arkansas and the South have been waiting for. Billionaire conservationist and Bass Pro Shops owner Johnny Morris bought the 400 acre Dog Patch USA property for just over $1 million. When you heard that Johnny Morris had purchased this piece of property, what went through your head? Well, first, I said it was a lie. I didn't think that he was actually going to acquire it. Matt Bell, executive director of Explore Harrison, is thankful he was wrong. We're just thrilled. We are absolutely thrilled. The view from above shows the transformation underway. Details remain few and far between. We reached out to Bass Pro Communications. The company said that it didn't have anyone available for an interview or an update to provide right now. However, during a September Buffalo River Conservation Committee meeting, Morris's representative shared the space will become Marble Falls Nature Park. Mr. Morris's goal is, again, natural conservancy, respecting the environment, creating opportunities for people to get outdoors and be engaged in nature. Morris is the brains behind several other Ozark nature projects, including Dogwood Canyon, the model for the Marble Falls Park. It includes a restaurant, trout fishing, grazing livestock and wildlife. We thought we'd go down there before he finishes his massive refurb and kind of peek in and take a look. John Burton is a Branson-based travel blogger who captured these photos of the project. You know, you see this old tram just sitting there in a water wheel that's not moving anymore. And, um, you know, a, a train tracks. And I'm like, wow. And then you can just kind of put yourself back. And it's this natural beauty Morris, local leaders and tourists are counting on. The fact that he's going to capitalize on that and preserve that property and allow tourists to come in and see what the Ozark Mountains and you know our natural beauty is all about is awesome. A timeline for the project has not been released yet, so we still don't know when the park will open. But as we learn those details, we'll pass them along to you. Michael Aaron, THV 11 News.